What's up everyone, this is Ryan here, and today I'm going to be walking you through another Android View tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at setting up tabs in our app using the tab layout. Uh, the app itself is going to be very simple that we'll be building, uh, something like what you see up on the screen here, so we'll just kind of jump into this. Uh, all it allows you to do is just click on the two tabs and it'll set a text view which is located in the middle of the app. And uh, this will allow us to sort of create the baseline for more complicated stuff. Uh, probably in the next video what we'll do is create a, a tab layout with a view pager and uh, get into some more complicated stuff. Anyways, um, I'll just uh, crack into the code. And we're back. So what I've done is I've created a new project in Android Studio called Tab Demo. And I've created a uh, basic activity, or sorry, basic tab activity.java and a corresponding layout for it, activity uh, basic tab. And uh, this just has like a default, it's just a default blank activity type deal. Uh, go ahead and open up build.gradle, your app level build.gradle file. And just make sure that your uh, dependencies include the design library, whatever number appropriate to, to uh, your compile SDK version. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of jump into things. This isn't going to take long, fortunately. Go ahead and open up Activity Basic Tab. And uh, we'll just make a couple slight changes. I'm going to get rid of the padding because we don't really need that. And also just make some changes to this default text view. Let's give it an ID. Uh, how about LBL Basic Content? And uh, we'll also set the gravity to center. And uh, just while we're here, go ahead and type uh, layout below. And uh, we haven't actually created this layout yet, but it's going to be called TBL basic for the tab layout. And it'll be red for a minute, but that's okay. All right, and we're going to create a tab layout. And let's make sure it gives us the, uh, make sure you select the support tab layout. That's important. Uh, for width, we're going to do match parent and wrap content for layout height. Uh, we're going to call this thing uh, as we figured out before. ID equals app plus ID uh, TBL basic. Just sort of a short abbreviation for tab layout. And uh, so that's basically all we need to do here. Now I'm just going to spend a moment showing you how we can actually add a tab view or a tab views to a tab layout in the XML. Now I'll explain afterwards why I don't think that's a good idea, but just to show you. Um, so if we were to, for example, uh, run this app right now, uh, just like this, our tab layout would actually be supplied with two uh, two tab items, one that says music and one that says movies, and we could even set icons for those tab layouts. Now, I don't actually suggest that you build tab layouts in the XML, and the main reason for that is that uh, in order to sort of customize them and style them, you're almost definitely going to need to do that in Java anyway, unless you're working with custom views. I mean, you still need to set the custom view in Java as far as I know. So longer story shorter, you're going to have to work in Java almost definitely anyway. So only in a scenario where you need just the most basic tab layout, which already comes prepackaged with your uh, uh, style requirements, would I suggest using the XML. It's kind of a value trade-off there. Anyways, uh, that's all we need to do in here. Uh, we're good to go. Go ahead and open up basic tab activity. So we'll do two things. For starters, private tab layout. Make sure you get the support. Yep. Oops. No, just tab layout. And we're going to call that tab -nac. A little shout-out to mon cousin de Quebec. I I'm not uh, French-Canadian myself, but I've got a couple of friends from French Canadian families. Uh, private text view. Uh, by the way, tabachnac is just like a swear word in French Canadian. Uh, anyways, uh, private text view. Uh, what are we going to call this? Let's call it content. Perfect. So, jump into OnCreate. Uh, one thing we'll do, and this is really just specific to this demo here, we'll call it get support action bar dot set elevation zero app f. Um, why am I doing that? If I didn't do that, then our default action bar's uh, elevation would be higher than our tab layout, 
and it would have kind of a weird random shadow. So all we're doing here is just setting it to the same elevation as the tab layout. Probably you'll be using your own custom toolbar, so you won't need to worry, but that's all that that is. Longer story is longer. <laughs> uh, let's get that text view. And our, uh, what did I call that? LBL basic content. Good. And then we'll get our tab layout. Oops. TBL basic. Perfect. And uh, this is where the magic is going to happen. So uh, we'll start with just creating a new tab, or two tabs. And uh, so all you need to do is just say tabachnak dot uh, add tab. And then we just say again tabachnak dot uh, new tab dot set text. In this case, we just want text for our tabs, and that's just going to say movies. Now, obviously, you shouldn't be using hard-coded text. You should be using a, a string XML file. This is just a demo, so we don't need to worry about that. But uh, before anyone uh, asks, um, it's just for demo purposes. And then we'll also make one more tab, and we'll just say music, just for the hell of it. Perfect. So that's to create the tabs. If we were to run the app at the moment, then we would have two tabs uh, showing up, and they would be completely uh, styleless. Well, they would have just default styling, so we need to fix that. Uh, so what we can do is uh, we'll start by setting the text colors of the tab. Now, when we're setting the text colors, we need to be concerned about the state of the tab, and there's uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. One day is... One way is to supply a uh, state list, a uh, color state list. Uh, what we'll, we'll be doing is using a method which is called set tab text colors, kind of a convenience method. And uh, what it does is it allows you to supply a normal color, which would be unselected, and then a selected color, which is when the tab is selected and active. So uh, we'll just kind of, I'm actually just going to copy and paste this little bit in because it's not super interesting. So uh, don't worry about this context compat dot, dot get color. The reason why I included this is if you typed just get color, I'm pretty sure it would be deprecated. And uh, this is just like syntactic sugar to use context compat, um, which isn't deprecated. So that's basically a, another way of getting the color. Um, what we've done is the default color is white, just like the Android resource standard white. And then our color accent will be the color of the text while it's selected. Uh, so that's all we need to do for the text color. Another thing we'll do is we'll set the background color of our tab layout. So just type uh, set background color. And again, context compat dot get color this and we'll just say uh, r dot color dot color primary and then that'll be the same color as our default action bar and life's good. So we're just about finished here. The only thing we need to do is handle clicks. So what we can do is uh, the tab layout has its own sort of special listener which we can use. So we'll type tab, oh you have to type implements first you dumbass. There we go. Tab layout. Obviously I'm the dumbass not you. <laughs> Why are you yelling at me? <laughs> Anyways uh, type Tab layout dot on tab selected listener, and it'll ask you to import the methods or implement them or words. And then just in the bottom of on create, we say tabachnak dot on tab selected. What do I type? Oh, it's weird. You have to type add on tab selected listener. You don't type set on tab selected listener because that's deprecated now. Add on tab select listener. I, I'm sure there's a good reason for it, but the, the naming is a little silly there, Android team. <laughs> Anyways, uh, okay, and we just type this since our uh, activity implements the listener. So we've got a couple options for our callbacks. Uh, they're pretty self-explanatory. The only one we'll be worrying about is when a tab is selected or clicked on. And when that happens, we'll just say content.setText. And then we'll say tab dot get text, and uh, that is all we need to do. 
Um, so that's basically it. The only other thing worth mentioning is that if uh, the default sort of styling options like these, or sorry, like these, for styling each individual tab isn't really working for you, one thing you can do is when you're creating a tab, you can do this. Uh, tabernacle, uh, new tab, and then we can say set custom view, and that perfectly, that allows you to supply a layout resource. So you could make like a custom layout which just has a, a text view and then sort of style it uh, in your own way. I'm not actually going to show you how to do that because there's no real need to do that, but just in case you need to set a custom tab, that is how you can do it. You can just supply a custom view, and then programmatically, if you want to um, edit that uh, that custom view or that particular tab, you can just do something like tabernacle dot uh, get tab. I think it's yeah, get tab, and then you just find the appropriate index or or something like that. It's probably at two. I don't know. Dot uh, uh, get custom view. And then that'll get that'll supply that view. And then if it's a text view, you know you can uh, cast it. I probably don't really need to go over this with you, but I just thought I'd <clears throat> I just thought it was worth mentioning. And then you can uh, I screwed this up. <laughs> there we go. And then you can say like dot set text or you you get the idea. I'm not actually going to do that, but just. So you're aware that's how you can do that. So uh, that's it for this episode. I will uh, see you in the next one where we will set our tab layout up with a view pager and uh, get some more advanced stuff going on. Thanks for watching.